Hello everybody, welcome back. We're joined again by the lovely Michelle. We're at a site <laughs> down in Narcastera near Proctor. Let's get cracking on. Rise acquired this photograph on the 10th of September 2011 and it's called USGS Dune Database Entry Number 0284-520. The images I'll be showing you are cropped from the JP2 black and white map projected file. This was taken at a resolution of 25.3 centimeters per pixel but the image is so, I don't know, manipulated, it's a really poor quality. There's a look at the low res black and white and the anomalies are some of these white specks littered across the region. Located right there to the south of Proctor, you can see NASA's photograph that site extensively. It's roughly located at 52 degrees, 8 minutes south, 28 degrees, 31 minutes east. To start off with, we'll be checking out those megalithic blocks or slabs right there, and then what looks like a collapsed structure to the bottom right. Check out the symmetry and geometry in this piece, folks. Got four blocks here or four slabs. Get the uniformity in the width of that gap or slot. 90 degree angles, straight edges. There's also a strange donut shaped object lying in the slot. Very strange indeed. And then this funny winged type anomaly. Also symmetry and geometry in that shape. Let's pop down to that weird structure thing. Looks like three slabs or blocks that were arranged in a triangle, sort of lying over each other. And then two protrusions or knobs on the one to the right. This also looks highly irregular, guys. Then we're looking at the two anomalies right there. You can use the scale indicator to the bottom to get an approximation of how big these things are, guys. Get the partial circular object over here. It's got a perfect arc to it. Strange protrusion or knob. And Michelle's distracting me there in the background. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> We've got a slab over here and a narrow rectangular block sort of lying diagonally across it. And we've seen that type of alignment lots of times on Mars. We're looking at the item over here. It's about 10 meters across. And it's got what looks like a depiction of an eye on it. This I've also shown you so many examples of. Strange block and then this protrusion or not, but it's slightly recessed. That reminds me of an eye. And we're looking at the slab or wreckage over there. I don't know what to make that out to be. Get the hole in the piece. It's also got this rounded shape to it. 90 degree angles. And then this strange bow shape part to the right. It looks almost as if that is hollowed out. In this part, I've shown you so many of those as well. It reminds me of that megalithic block with the protrusions, the step and little doorway that we find at the lost city of the Inca. Check this out. So, a larger protrusion surrounded by these smaller ones. Then we'll be checking out this item about 10 by 12 meters in size. And as usual, a small protrusion or knob in the center. Check out the strange disc shaped anomaly over here. It's about three meters in diameter. I really had to apply a lot of contrast and lower the brightness on these images, folks. Check it out right there. It's mounted or lying on top of this sort of plectrum-shaped object. 
It's almost got like pincers on the bottom. And we're looking at the megalithic block there. It's about 12 meters long. Check out the right angles to it. Highly eroded, of course, like so many things on Mars. And then we're looking at the two items right there. This blurs really badly when you zoom in on it. This L-shaped bevel on this block. Get the rounded design. Small narrow piece on that block over there, folks. Parallel with this edge. Then this also breaks up quite badly. Check this out. Also looks like a block. With these two narrow parallel sort of protrusions or things sticking off the side and this yeah looks like sheet metal to me guys covered in sand and dust sort of bent quite badly there small parts running across the center line get the equal spacing between those three and that is abundant on Mars as well the depiction of those three items in a row spaced equally apart and we're looking at the unusual narrow part there it's about 15 meters long the uniformity in the width it looks almost like part of bracing or maybe it was a supporting column everything on Mars is toppled over and then I thought I'd throw this in folks Paradolia maybe check out the looks like pattern there it's like an arc consisting of these smaller parts follow a nice radius and they spaced equally apart and uh, I've shown you similar depictions of what I think is Stonehenge one in particular my friend found in Kanowski I featured that in one of my past videos check it out if you get a chance and then this these look very weird got like sperm shapes to them not that they are sperms folks I'm just kidding but look at this the patterns they make and then they all start or end I'm not sure if this is a slope coming down this way or if it slopes down that way could this be water seeping out of the surface leaving these trails or did something move down here and then where are the objects that left these tracks or trenches heading down to the southern mid latitudes to Noarcus Terra and the site just south of Propter As you can see I've found lots of anomalies in this region of Mars so let's have a look at the anomalies I just featured briefly and then to end it we'll have a look at some of the other anomalies close by this is where I found that strange jet shaped object similar to the one that we find in South America this is the Quimbaya jet it's got like a delta wing design and in the back part this is fascinating these smaller parts seems to be depicted there as well that's about 20 meters long and then in this region we've got lots of these look like megalithic slabs or sheet metal Check at the circular item underneath this. I'm sure you'll agree with me, this looks like thin 
sheet metal stacked over one another part of a collapsed structure maybe a covering for a habitat who knows guys also more odds and ends check this piece out it's got a disc design in it long narrow part and it seems to have like a little spherical joining part there it looks almost like that anomaly I featured a while ago did an illustration of it too it looks like a huge circular saw the opening of here container of saw, two knives disc with a dome on it and it seems to be mounted to that part underneath it. Long narrow part there as well. Looks like sheet metal embedded at 90 degrees to the surface. It's a very shiny piece of here with a hole right there in its center. This is also quite commonplace on Mars. These disc shaped anomalies with a hole in the center and then two protrusions one on either side of the center looks like an opening up here almost like a vent another block with a hole in it another one of these long narrow rectangular parts on that block there's another disc very shiny seems to be embedded in that part get the three smaller items here with this looks almost like a little obelisk sticking up 90 degree angles over here could that be like sheet metal also stacked one on top of the other Almost like a Rubik's Cube, highly eroded, bent up. A one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine parts to it. Nice slot over there. Check out the uniformity in the width. Disc, the small conical feature in its center. That concludes this one. Thank you for watching. Take care, everybody. Michelle and I will see you in the next one real soon. Cheers for now. Bye, everyone. <laughs>